Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. So, in today's lecture, we are going to study about the lymphangioma. So, what are lymphangiomas? They are the benign tumors of the lymphatic vessels. Benign tumors of the lymphatic vessels. So, it has two palms. The first one is the capillary lymphangioma, and the second one is the cavernous lymphangioma. So, first, about talking about the capillary lymphangioma. So, it is in elevated or stock lesions. It is in elevated. For a stock lesion, stock is we have already discussed that for example this is a skin. So elevated means that it is elevated from the skin and the stock means that it is hanging from the skin through a stock. Through a stock and it is up to 1 to 2 cm in diameter. 1 to 2 cm in diameter. Elevated or stock lesion up to 1 to 2 cm in diameter and is mostly occurs in the places like head, neck, axillary subcutaneous tissue head, neck and the axillary subcutaneous tissue and if we examine the the slides or histopathologically we can see the endothelium line spaces containing limb endothelium line spaces containing limb this is the gross a picture of the limb and geoma in the second slide you can see the large spaces these are the large spaces lined by the endothelium cell and in between the, these uh, spaces is present the fibrous stroma. Fibrous stroma. Now coming towards the cavernous lymphangioma, so it is last large as compared to the capillary lymphangioma about 15 cm in diameter, and they are mostly deeply situated, for example, in the neck region where it can produce cross deformity and it is called as the cystic hygroma and it is mostly occurs in the Turner syndrome mostly situated deeply for example in the neck where it can cause cross uh, deformity gross deformity this is gross gross deformity for example in the palm of cystic hygroma it mostly occur in the Turner syndrome Histopathologically, we can see massively dilated lymphatic vessels separated by the connective tissue stroma containing the lymphoid aggregates and they are mostly encapsulated. Here mostly, this is the picture of the cystic hygroma, cystic hygroma present in the neck.